This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Ants. Ants. This video is about ants. Why? Because scientists recently figured out that there are 20 quadrillion ants in the entire world. And this is an insane number. That is like 20 million billion ants. Oh man, I'd love to see how big that ant pile is. Oh hey, look. Scientists have calculated how many ants are on Earth. The number is so big, it's unimaginable. We simply cannot imagine 20 quadrillion ants in one pile. It just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. It's impossible. You remember that one of us lying to you? Yeah, it's okay. It's fine. I'll do it myself. All right, so we've all had experiences with ants before. Perhaps you left a cookie out on the counter overnight and the next morning you found ants everywhere. That's how you get ants. Or maybe you're out on a hike and accidentally stepped on an ant hill, causing ants to flood out of the ground like a zombie horde. No matter where you go, you can find ants. Unless you're in Antarctica. Well, this sucks. Antarctica. In fact, there are over 15,000 different named species of ants in the world, and they range all the way from like one millimeter in length, like the Karabara Atoma here. Oh man, this thing's tiny. All the way up to 30 or 40 millimeters in length, like the bullet ant. Oh God, why did I put this on my finger? That's terrifying, That's, it might sting me. It's stuck in my arm. Oh, it's hot. But if we want accurate results, we can't just use any ants. We need to find the most average ants. Using data from the original research paper, I determined that the average weight of a live ant is 4.13 milligrams. But anyway, we still don't know how big that is. Do you include the antennas and legs? Chop off the legs, to assume they're squished up? I chose to split the difference and assume that there's gonna be some overlap, but not like a full squish. That means that our average ant in this video measures in at about 4.5 millimeters in length. Now we can get into this video. But first, a word from our sponsor, Squarespace. Are you looking to start an online business or something like that? Well, you're gonna need a beautiful website and Squarespace has your back. Because they're an all-in-one platform, they have everything you need to get your business really going. For instance, let's say you're teaching classes and your clients need to book appointments with you. Well, they can easily see your schedule, make their own appointments, adjust them if necessary, all thanks to the API inside of Squarespace. It's really nice because it takes the hassle out of coordinating schedules. I mean, I hate doing that. And if their schedules don't work, well, you can provide videos thanks to the video Video Studio app that Squarespace provides. You can actually make your own videos for your clients that can't make it. And even though your website is your hub of content, you can actually integrate all of this stuff with your social media accounts and push all of your website content to your socials really effortlessly, all thanks to Squarespace. Head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash corridor crew, and you'll be able to get 10% off your first domain. Kind of like these ants are gonna wanna get their own domain. Oh my God, gross. Squarespace.com slash corridor crew, check it out. So 20 quadrillion ants is a lot of ants, but Earth also has a lot of land. 134 million square kilometers to be exact, if we don't include Antarctica, cause duh. That averages out to 150 ants for every square meter of land. 148, 149, 150. I mean, take a look around you. How much ground can you see? Just imagine that for every square meter of land, there's 150 ants walking around. And this is them trying to like space themselves out evenly across the whole planet. But of course, ant distribution is not perfectly even, with the highest numbers located in rainforests. A study in West Africa determined that there are roughly 2,000 ants for every square meter of land there. Which is enough to make me feel very uncomfortable now. Like, one ant, not a problem, but a swarm of thousands? Whole different story. Because that is only the beginning. There are eight billion people on Earth, which means that for every one of us, there are two and a half million of them. Okay, okay, that's enough. Yeah. Packed tightly together, two and a half million ants would form a circle six meters across. That's 20 feet, and that just barely fits inside of our studio here. What is this? A center for ants? What's crazy is that at this scale, you can't even see individual ants anymore. In fact, there are more ants in this shot than there are pixels in HD video. 
That's why this video is in 4K. Oh no! But of course, ants are famous for self-assembling into complex structures like bridges. Though I hope you never have the misfortune of walking through one of these. Ooh. Ants get a bad reputation for being pests, but they're incredibly important to our ecosystem. They aerate the soil, speed up decomposition, and they improve plant growth across the globe. Despite being creepy crawlers, we need them. Except for fire ants though. No, they can go die in a fire. So two and a half million ants for every person on earth. That makes me wonder what a real Ant-Man would look like. All of these ants clumped together in human form would be as tall as Danny DeVito. Are you looking at me? I'm Danny DeVito. What, were you expecting a giant? They're a pile of ants. They just look bigger when they're flat. They would, however, be lighter than Danny DeVito, coming in at just 10 kilograms, which is less than a one wheel. A lot less. So not that tall, not that heavy. Kind of makes them seem a little less scary, right? Like, come on, I could totally take this thing on in a fight. Ah! Danny ah! DeVito, ah! no, no, hey, get back here. And there are eight billion of these things running around on the planet. One for every single person. <sighs> if all 20 quadrillion ants could cling together into one giant gigaball, how big would this pile of ants be? It would have a diameter of 860 meters, making it taller than the tallest building in the entire world, which is the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. Not even Tom Cruise would be sitting as high as that ball. Ah! It would also look pretty bizarre, appearing almost like smooth metal. You can see the bumpiness of ants when close up, but like at this distance, their texture is just too small to see, making the ball appear smooth. And this mass of ants would completely dwarf any city you put it next to. Obviously, this is a bit unrealistic because I have the gravity turned off. I mean, this many ants would crush themselves under their own weight. But here's the thing about balls of ants. They behave like liquid, meaning that when I turn the gravity back on, splash. Even with a viscosity a million times higher than water, they would still ooze through the city until every single street is submerged and a sludge of ants. Eventually though, this ant ooze will spread itself out flat. How much area would this flat ant blanket cover? It's a lot. Let me go get Sam and Nico. Ugh, Sam and Nico, what state are you guys from? Minnesota. That one. Well, did you know that if all 20 quadrillion ants could be laid out flat, it would cover your entire home state. Oh no. Antisota would be the 12th largest state in the entire country and many Antilis would be a terrifying place to live. A Minnesota sized patch of ant skin that could just crawl around. Yeah, crawl, I didn't even think about the crawling part of it. It could just migrate around the planet. Oh God, you just gave me more effects, Nico. So we've seen the scale of ants in three dimensions and now we've seen them in two. But what would one dimension look like? One of the behaviors ants are best known for is marching in lines. They use their antennae to detect the pheromones of other ants to find pathways from potential food back to the colonies they came from. That's why it always seems like they're marching along invisible highways. Who let the cookie out? So if all of the ants in the entire world were to line up butt to mouth, how long would that line be? Take a guess, how many times around the earth do you think this line would go? If an average ant is 0 0.0045 meters times 20 quadrillion, 90 billion kilometers. That is over two million times around the planet. Around the planet. Ants, two million. <gasps> that is such an astronomical distance that I think we need a better unit of measurement for this. The astronomical unit, the distance from Earth to the sun. That means that our line of ants would stretch from here to the sun and back 300 times. Think of it this way. That's the setting sun behind me here in LA, meaning that the Earth orbiting around the sun is going that way, having just come from that way. So if we could shoot a chain of ants into space to trail behind the Earth, first off, we'd be shooting them at like 100,000 kilometers an hour, 80 times the speed of a bullet, but we would be shooting them continuously, nonstop for 95 years before we finally run out of ants. 
good riddance. Good riddance. Good <laughs> What is this? Ants! 20 quadrillion is such a large number that our brains just can't really conceive it. And so what I try to do with this whole scale series is to take the unimaginable and imagine it. Which means that there's just one last thing to do. Hi, how's it going? Good, how are you? My name is Sabine Mutter. I'm Patrick Schulteis. Yeah, that's right. The lead authors of the paper and the quote that started this whole thing have actually been helping me with this video. They provided me with information to figure out the average size of the ants. And I just thought it was fitting that after all of that, I could show them the actual visuals I came up with to find out if it really is unimaginable. There's more ants than stars in the galaxy, but that doesn't help you visualize it in any way. It's just another way of putting it in numbers. As far as visualizations go, no one has done anything that really helps you. Really? I do have some to show you. All right, ready? Oh, wow. <laughs> it's scary. Yes. The Antocalypse is coming. Look, it's a, it's a weapon of mass destruction. I guess we're doomed. I gotta ask. Is it imaginable now? It is imaginable now. Yes, Definitely. indeed it is. <laughs> you've done the impossible. Yes, you've done the impossible. We can now imagine what these ants look like. Well, fantastic. Thank you guys so much for your help. It's been an honor, honestly. So I want to do more of these types of videos, and I think you've inspired me to continue doing that. So thank you. Yeah, we're glad we inspired you. Thanks for investing a month of your life. <laughs> Just send us a link as soon as it's online. Yeah, we will do. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. All right, bye. They're so cool, man. This is a fun video to do. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Subscribe for more videos like this. I'm gonna be doing more of these this year and uh, ants.